Hi everybody, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect, plant-based extreme weight loss. And today is Wednesday and that makes it weigh-in Wednesday. And so um, I'm really excited to be here with you guys again. I was gone a long time because I just didn't feel very well. And it was crazy. Um, we had 10 inches of snow in Portland, Oregon and they did not plow the snow. And so um, we just it just stuck around. It stuck around for a whole week, which is really unusual for us. You know that we get a lot of rain, and so usually we get snow and ice, but they usually are, you know, quick moving events, and this time it wasn't, and I had the flu. And so um, I'm just glad this is a new week because it is a good week for me. Um, I know you're wondering how I did and so let's let's go ahead and, and get to that and we'll start with that um, so I thought it would be fun just to do just start doing this so here's my highest weight 436 pounds that's where I started from okay and then my weight last week was 232 pounds. I don't know if you remember, but I took off seven pounds last um, last week because it was the week I had the flu, and so I just didn't feel like eating. I had lost my appetite. So 232 pounds last week, and then this week, it uh, this might be backwards, so I hope it isn't. But uh, 230 pounds. So pounds released this week is two. And pounds released overall is 206 pounds. So I'm so happy I can say that I have taken off over 200 pounds again. Um, I want to encourage you guys to say that you've taken off weight and not that you have um, or that you've released weight but not that you've lost weight. When you say that you've lost weight it makes your brain think well she lost it she must want to find it. But um, I have no intention of finding that again. And um, so before this, um, before I had the big uh, loss last week, I had, I took off seven pounds last week and then I took off two more this week. So yay, that makes me really happy because I'm actually at my weight goal, what I was hoping for my weight goal by the end of January. So this is still only the 17th of January and I'm already there so I'm hoping I can even get more off before that but one of the things that I was doing when the scale wasn't moving and I knew that I was eating all the right things is I started sequen sequencing my food um, and so I just wanted to show you a little example of how I sequence my food and you can see if it would work for you so the first thing I do is I eat at least a pound of non-starchy vegetables um, for breakfast. And then, um, usually it's more, like this is 24 ounces, okay? So this is broccoli. And then I'll follow that up with um, some salad. Now this is a huge salad. This takes me more than one meal to eat, but I have my salad and in it is mixed starch. So I'm eating the thing with the lowest caloric density, which is the vegetables at 100 calories a pound. And then I follow it up with salad, which is also very, you know, very low calorically dense, but I mix in my dressing, which is half beans and half salsa. So I put that right on, right on top. You can see my might be beautiful salad and mm, it smells really good from the salsa so um, I really encourage you to use beans in your dressing if you like a creamy dressing okay and so this will keep me busy all day between those two things and then I end with fruit um, this is a bunch of blueberries and I'll have that as another snack during the day you don't want to have fruit as the first meal of the day because you don't want to start off your palate with eating something sweet. Um, that's one of the Chef AJ rules is eat something, start your day in a savory way. So that's what I'm doing. And then 
Um, for dinner, I will have, you know, straight up starch. So I made some more of my um, split pea and potato soup that is in the Instant Pot recipes if you want to check out that recipe. And by, um, by sequencing your food and going from the lowest caloric density up to the highest caloric density, what you're going to do is you're going to fill up your tummy more on the lower calorie foods. So you're going to be satisfied with, you know, less, um, less calories overall. And if I would have started out with starch, I would eat starch till I'm full. So that wouldn't be good. All right. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'm going to try to check in a lot more this week. Um, I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.